Hello everybody and welcome back to Kerbal Space Program RP0. I changed screens there for half a second so that disappeared. Anyway, uh, I have here sitting at launch pad number 38 a Griffin A2 ready to go. Which can mean only one thing really. We're going to try to go back to the moon. As stressful as it was, totally worth it. So let's bring up the launch window and uh, no, sorry Bill, it is not going to be you this time. Ah, come on. Uh, add. This is the button I was look, looking for. Uh, I've got Bill and Bob. Uh, Alice went last time. Yegor went around the moon, but never actually onto it. And I think he's the only other person qualified at this point. Yegor Koromilikov. Sounds good to me. Alright, let's get him loaded up. Alright. So, this is almost a carbon copy of our previous Griffin A1 that uh, successfully put uh, Commander Alice Campbell onto the surface of the moon and brought her back safely despite uh, my terrible piloting. Uh, rendezvous planner. Select a target to rendezvous with. Yes, that would help. Alright, we need to get on inclination with the moon. There it is. Set as target. Current inclination is 42.36 degrees and falling. Good. I'd also like to point out that it's like July 15th, 1961, so we are well ahead of historical uh, timelines here, and I think I'm allowed to be proud of that. That's uh, <laughs> fairly significant in my eyes. We've also killed some people. No worries. Poor Jeb. Uh, oh. <laughs> and there go the dogs. Awesome. <laughs> All right. Oh, sorry, I'm really bad at this time warping stuff and getting these right on, so I tend to be either overly cautious or overly brazen. But there we go, 0 0.28, and it's daytime. Even better. Thank you. Let's just zoom that out. All right, Yegor, it is your time to shine, sir. Let's uh, ignition sequence start. This rocket should be fully fueled by now, and if not, then the end bummer. All right, just waiting for these five F1s to spool up. There they go. Get those clamps off. And go straight up, please. Do not rush into that launch clamp. Oh, we rushed into the launch clamp. Okay, get it back. Yegor is a ace pilot. He has done lots of flying of things before. We are thinking that this will actually pose no significant challenge for him and his skills. Uh, there are, um, yeah, okay, I was going to go into, there are, are some nice differences between this uh, Griffin A1 and, or this Griffin A2 versus the Griffin A1. We'll get into most of those later as the changes at this point in our flight are nothing to noticeable, really. These two stages are carbon copies directly lifted from the previous vehicle. The upper stage are S4B. Uh, clone and the lander have some pretty significant changes, but we'll get into talking about all of that after I have adjusted this relative inclination down to something worthwhile. Also, I am probably going to be time warping through the rest of this launch just to get us into orbit, so I will pick up all of you nice people uh, on the other side. Looks like the nose cone on our launch escape tower has blown up. Come on, J2s. Alright. Uh, looks like uh, all five of our J2s are lit. We are still sailing. We're just going to go ahead and ditch that launch escape system now. It's clear. It's very interesting. I've never seen one blow up like that. 
but okay. Anyway, uh, I did not see that happening, or I see the warning until it was almost uh, done already. But uh, other than that, no other failures currently. I think we're doing all right. We'd like to adjust this uh, relative inclination some more. But other than that, we're going to go back to uh, time warping. See you guys uh, in orbit. problem. Uh, looks like we have a loss of thrust on our core engine. That's the one that has failed literally every single time we've done this. Uh, Alright, so we're going to have to adjust our angle of approach a little bit more. Uh, obviously, everything's going to get screwy. Uh, this time to apoapsis is still falling and a lot faster than I would like it to. Yep and the central engine has finished failing. That's has happened every time we've flown this rocket. Uh, there must just be something with the clustering, but that uh, could not be at a more inconvenient time. Uh, really, it could not. All right. Just our heading just a bit. Try to get that uh, time to apogee to start climbing again. I know I'm angling the wrong way to do that, but we need to put at least some of this fuel into this speed and not this altitude. <laughs> We're already uh, higher than I would have liked. Yeah, time is still falling, but it has decreased. Probably tuck that away for the time being. Yeah, it's a short three grand left in this stage. Which, uh half of which is going towards our vertical speed at this point. I really prefer not to fall back to Earth. I'm to the 10 second mark now. Time to seriously angle. We need to stop that number from falling. Crap. Why does that number 5 engine always, always fail? We just had another engine failure. Probably going to start seeing the remaining three engines cut out here shortly. Uh, looks like gimbling is doing, making up for most of the work. And coming up on flame out anyway. Any second now. There they go. All right, stage set. Ignition. Our single J1 is lit. Our J2, my mistake. Our single J2 is lit. Got about a 40 second overhead and maybe uh, two kilometers per second to go. Thrust weight ratio of 0.61. Uh, uh, we're going to be cutting our margins really close here. Well, Good, that's increasing time so we can actually angle back in. Get as close as we can to our actual prograde vector. I think we can afford to fall a bit. I guess we'll see.
<laughs> Holy crap, 196 by 194. That's a super circular orbit. And in the tank currently is 3981 meters per second on our J2 stage. Uh, let's hope to all that is high and mighty that is going to be enough. Um, but, yeah, let's go ahead and plot for the moon. I was debating on waiting till next episode. But uh, I don't think we actually have to... Oh, man. We could just go now. Or at periapsis. No big deal. Oh, perfect. Perfect. And since we're at periapsis, it's going to be a, a slightly more efficient burn. Thank you, Dr. Oberth. I'm assuming. And... Whoop, whoop. Oh, that's... Brilliant. Let's focus our view in here. We need to get good and low. If we can do this just all in one, one little touch. No, I do not. Come on. Oh, good grief. And somehow we go from hitting the moon to missing it entirely. We'll make this correction later. <laughs> we'll, we still have plenty of ignitions left in our J2 stage. And we've got uh, all kinds of disposable fuel here. Uh, oh, man. RCS on. Yeah, dang it. Uh, not all of my tanks got switched off. Alright, well, we're just going to have to uh, steal the fuel back from our J2 stage after docking, like we did in our first uh, moon mission. I don't foresee that being a huge issue. We have fuel pumping docking ports, after all. Uh, come on, bring it back, bring it back, bring it back. That's a bit much, it's a bit much, it's a bit much, it's a bit much. Okay, and we've got about two minutes to kill. Oh, come on. All right, wait, no. <laughs> I thought I screwed it up. I'm terrible at these things, because we're doing it all on our J2, so I don't have to comp or, uh, account for a staging event or anything like that. Let's go ahead and bring it out of time warp. Start to ullage our engine. The ignition is good, and we are off. Now again, this will be kind of a longish burn, so I'm going to speed it up in post, and I will see all of you uh, when it is completed. Alright, well, about two and a half meters per second shy. Uh, I am planning for a course correction burn anyway. We do have one more ignition left in our J2. Uh oh. Did I muck this up? Apparently I did. Because we're not even getting an encounter currently. There's an encounter. I'm doing this all with RCS, and now it's gone. I find that really hard to believe, KSP. Anyway, let's turn off our RCS system so we're not just bleeding fuel. Let's do a quick check here. Yeah, alright. Lots of that. 
not a whole lot of that. So next time we'll be plotting our course correction, uh, docking and removing the, serv uh, the uh, lunar lander and arriving at the moon. I promise. All in one fell swoop. Anyway, uh, thanks for hanging out, everybody. This has been a fun one, and I look forward to uh, landing on the moon again. Let's hope we can do it with a lot less stress than last time. <laughs> anyway, thanks for hanging out. I'll see you guys later.